What's up all you Minties? This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition. And join me today as I go over some collected editions from Marvel Comics that have come out recently. So please stay tuned. And welcome back everybody. Now before I get started, a huge thank you to David Gabriel and the folks at Marvel for sending us advanced copies of these books. These books are due out in stores today in the direct market. So we're talking places like your comic book stores, CheapGraphicNovels.com, Tales of Wonder, In Stock Trades. Uh, all of these are due out today on the 26th. However, this Ruins of Ravencroft has already come out. I think it came out earlier this month, if not late in July. So we're going to be taking a look at Avengers first, and then we'll go through and then look at all the spines as well, because I know how much you all love that. So here we have Avengers by Jonathan Hickman, the Complete Collection, Volume 1. As I said, I will take a look at all the spines together here in a little bit. This book retails for $34.99, and it kicks off the Avengers by Hickman, or as the cool kids like to call it, Hickvengers. Maybe not the cool kids. Whatever. Um, this was previously collected in small trade paperbacks, in oversized hardcovers, and of course, the two big Omnis, which are out of print as of this video so this collects the first five issues of avengers then the first five six issues sorry the six issue story arc of new avengers and then the astonishing tales of mojo world one through six which is a storyline that he wrote now this kicks off a new era of avengers we have a completely different team we have brand new characters uh, to the Avengers, brand new characters to the Marvel Universe. We have a couple of mutants like Sunspot and Cannonball. I love when they make Sunspot and Cannonball grow up outside of New Mutants and join either the X-Men or now the Avengers. I thought that was pretty cool. We have Hyperion. We have a brand new Smasher from the Imperial Guard. And um, then we have the Illuminati. And the Illuminati is what New Avengers is about. So you have characters like Black Bolt, uh, Namor... Reed Richards, Iron Man, Beast, Doctor Strange, and Black Panther. And if you've noticed, there's one missing. Well, there's a reason for that, and it is kind of explained in here. So all of this really helps build the world of Hickman in the Marvel Universe. So from the start of his Secret Warriors all the way into Fantastic Four, now we're moving into Avengers. And he's been setting up a few of these things. Ultimates is another book that he wrote that... I'm surprised that one never got an omnibus. But he sets up this whole new world of Avengers. Everything is coming to a big head. And of course, all of this leads into a big event called Infinity, which is collected, I think it should be volume two, or no, it'll be volume three of this complete collections. And all of that leads into Secret Wars. So let's look here in the extras. We have 336 pages of content, by the way, again, $34.99 and man they put all the variants back here it can't be all variants no way I don't remember that many okay I was gonna say so here are the the mojo world stories which feature cannonball and sunspot so this is where they put them I wonder if there's any more extras in the back probably not but yes all the covers are of course in the back because that's what Jonathan Hickman likes to do. He likes to put no chapter breaks in his books, or I'm sorry, no covers in between issues. He just puts a chapter number in between the books. So 336 pages, 34.99. And here we have Ruins of Ravencroft from the pages of Absolute Carnage. This book retails for $15.99. Now this collects Ruins of Ravencroft Carnage, Ruins of Ravencroft Dracula, and Ruins of Ravencroft, Sabretooth. I th most of this, if I'm not mistaken, is written by Frank Terry. And Frank Terry had a run on Wolverine. He had a run on uh, Punisher. He also did the Weapon X story. Not the classic Weapon X, the Barry Windsor Smith, but the Weapon X storyline that has an, its own omnibus. It's a very underrated story, too. Uh, I can't talk too much about this, but this is the remains and the aftermath of absolute carnage what's going on in Ravencroft which is of course the place where uh, Cletus Cassidy was this book retails for $15.99 has 112 pages it's always good to see Dracula back in a 616 storyline that takes place nowadays Let's see if there's anything extra in the back so it looks like we have some variant covers here 
It's a Greg Land, Ariel Olivetti. And man, that is a beautiful saber tooth by Miko Suayan. And then you have original pages here from inside the comic book. Now, let's look at the other books. So here we have The End. Now, there's been a Marvel The End. There's been a Hulk The End, One Shots of Fantastic Four The End, and Iron Man. Those were collected in The End, um, Wolverine The End, those trade paperbacks I did an overview of last year. But this is The End. Uh, so it's a little bit different because there's a series of one shots that came out through 2019, uh, some in 2020, and it retails for $24.99. So let's look inside in here. Yes, that's what I was talking about, the Fantastic Four at the end. So there's all the talent behind it. You have Eric Larson coming back and writing Captain America at the end, who's also, he's also drawing it. Cool. Kelly Thompson, Joe Kelly, uh, Leah Williams, Salamit Din Ahmed, and Adam Warren. And so here we have Larson's Captain America, the end. So like I mentioned, these are a series of one shots that came out through 2019, 2020, featuring the final stories of these characters, maybe, right? Probably not. Here's the Captain Marvel story. A little bit of the artwork from Deadpool. Here's the Doctor Strange book by Leah Williams. Digging that artwork by, what's his name, Felipe Andrede? I think kind of reminds me of early Mignola stuff. And here's the Miles Morales by Saladin Ahmed, who is the current writer on the book. Just some of that artwork in here. That one looks a little like Damien Scott, a little cartoony and anime. And then here's the Venom, the end book. Let's look in the back here for some extras. Make sure I censor that page because this page is where the extras start with variant covers and original pages. This book has 200 pages, by the way, and retails, again, for $24.99. For all you spine watchers out there, here is what all those spines look like together. You can pause the video here, and again, I just wanna remind you to don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. We put out videos every day, sometimes too. And finally, we have X-Force number one. This is the last of the first six titles uh, to be collected, just, in its own series trade paperback because as you all know this is part of the dawn of x storyline and a lot of these have already been collected in the dawn of x but this collects x force one through six the series that premiered in 2019 went into 2020 and this is the one that's written by benjamin Percy. and the first time i remember uh reading anything by him was his run on green arrow but I've come to really like uh, X-Force. This is one of my favorite new Dawn of X titles. And his Wolverine is pretty solid. He's also the head writer of Wolverine. Uh, you also have Joshua Casara. He's the artist on the book. Now let's look back here because I can't talk too much about this. This book retails for $17.99. Uh, it has 176 pages. Let's look in the back here for some extras. So here we have the standard issue covers. And then we'll have some variants. Again, much like the other Dawn of X titles, the books are separated by chapter breaks with no covers. So the covers are held for the back. I think they've taken that recipe from Jonathan Hickman, which is a pretty cool idea. I know some people don't like it, some people like it. Here's a lot of variants. I've always been a big fan of that one right there. And then I have never seen that one. That's by Gerardo Sandoval. And then, of course, the rest of the trade paperbacks. And here we have Marvel's, the remastered edition. They made a remastered edition such a big deal. It's part of the spine. And the back, this book retails for $24.99. This is Marvel's, of course. We've done an old reader, new reader. If you know me or been a fan of the channel, you know how great and how highly I praise this book. It's probably one of the best top ten best Marvel stories ever made. Kurt Busiek wrote it. Alex Rocks. I can't say. Did I say Alex Rocks? Alex Ross. Uncanny Omar Talk Pretty One Day. Um, I can't say he drew it. He painted it. The man, the, the man just blood and sweat went into this and he painted all of this. Now there's been, you know, of course the Monster Size Edition, the the 25th anniversary, the 10th anniversary oversized hardcover, the platinum edition. So it's been released in so many different formats. The difference between this and something that came out like five years ago is that it's been remastered. 
So the pages have been digitized to put into Comixology or the Marvel app and it, they've cleaned it up and it looks better. So I know like my 10th anniversary, I don't know, um, it's, it's, you have to look really carefully, but the 10th anniversary hardcover, it looks like what they did, they, they just blew up the pages instead of actually making them digital first. It so it, they look a little stretched out, whereas this, it looks nice and clean. And not that there was anything wrong with the previous one, but this just looks as beautiful as it does in the oversized format. However, of course, this is a trade paperback. This collects issues zero through four of Marvel's 248 pages. So it doesn't include the new extra. Let's look here in the back, which is the best thing about Alex Ross's books. It's all the little extras in the back. I'm not gonna flip through all of these, but you kind of get the idea of, you know, this is the same kind of extras we've seen before if you're familiar with this. But if you've never read it, do yourself a favor and check it out. Uh, this is the cheapest format available and it's just a wonderful read. Beautiful to look at too. So many Easter eggs. Okay, you all know how much I've been praising these collected editions right here. This is the Dawn of X, Volume 7, and it retails for $17.99. Parental Advisory, eh, there's some, I don't want to say adult content. Here's all the previously released Dawn of X trades. And to set the record straight, because there's so much misconception as to what this collects, here it finally is, New Mutant 7, Wolverine 1, Marauder 7, Excalibur 7 and 8, and X-Men number 7. And I'm going to be really careful when flipping through here. Really careful. What the heck is wrong with my voice today? I, I, I swear I'm off my game. Uh, so this particular collection, if you've noticed, does not contain X-Force, any issues of X-Force. So I love the way that they're taking issues out. And they're going to be putting some in later on, like in Volume 8 and 9. So this is a really cool way to me to collect this run. They're putting the giant size books in here. Uh, they're putting Wolverine in here. And I'm sure they'll put X-Factor. Uh, and then, of course, the Hellions when that comes out. So I think this is such a great way to collect the series. It feels like going into my comic book shop and just asking for my monthly stack of comics. That's what this feels like when getting these books. So strongly suggested. Let's look in the back here for extras. So there's just a few. I can't really flip too much through the inside here because even some of the covers spoil what happens in the book. But here you go. So glad they recolored that Jim Lee. Or not recolor really. I guess they modernized it. Now, all these books can be purchased from our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off the cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. And check out their bargain bin for even greater deals up to 90% off cover price. And for you minties, Cheap Graphic Novels is renting a special promotion. If you're a first time customer, let them know you were referred by Near Mint Condition at the checkout and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order. Now this is only for US customers. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the contents of the book and of course the page count. Let me know in the comments down below which ones you are picking up, if you are getting the Dawn of X trades, or getting the individual titles in trade paperback, if you're following the Carnage storyline outside of Absolute Carnage, if you've never heard of The End, that one kind of snuck in on a lot of people. Uh, if you've read Marvels, if you have it already, or if you were waiting for the omnibus of The Avengers by Jonathan Hickman, or if this is the way you're going to collect them in the complete collections. So, leave those comments down below. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. Again, this was the Uncanny Omar. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, everybody, please stay healthy, stay safe, and much love to all of you.